Hello pianist! In today's video I will show you how to align the wrist behind your fingers and how to play with some wrist circles so you can have a lifetime of playing with proper technique. So one of my primary goals as a piano teacher is to teach my students how to play for the rest of their lives and that comes from an understanding of proper technique, how to use your arm weight so your hands and fingers don't get tired or fatigued or injured. So we're going to go back to our C major five finger scale C D E F G. And when I'm working on technique, I like my arms to be in an ideal position to learn this. So I'm going to put my right hand one thumb on treble C, which is the C one octave or the eighth note above middle C with my thumb. My left hand five will be playing on a bass C, which is the C an octave below middle C. So let's just first work with how to align your wrist. Think about your wrist like a bridge to your forearm and the rest of your arm to deliver strength and direction. So if I have this beautiful default hand position, my third finger is aligned with my wrist. This is all a straight line, but I play with multiple fingers. If I want to play with the thumb, I'm going to shift over to the left so that wrist is aligned behind it. As it goes towards the five finger, it'll shift to the right. Notice when I get to the five, which is often viewed as one of the weakest fingers, but it's required to play louder in repertoire. I need some strength for my arm, so I'm gonna have that wrist and forearm and hand all be a straight line. Just practice slow, watch your hand to get used to that flexible wrist. You don't need to push hard. Nice level wrist to start on this. Don't forget the left hand. I'm going to start with my left hand five on bass C, which is your third C on the piano. I'm going to start with it aligned in a straight line with the forearm and the hand of the finger. As I go higher, there it is behind the three, behind the thumb. You can practice that on different scales. Notice when you go into scales with black keys, maybe I want to play an E flat scale. I will have to go in towards the fall board. Never want to reach for black keys. I just adjust my hand in closer. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. When short fingers have black keys, go in. Just slide in, that's why these keys are long. Let's say I play B major. Get that thumb up closer on the black key rather than stretching it. So I can only use so much arm support by playing that way with that proper wrist alignment. Next step we're going to add on to this. If I play a string of notes is by incorporating arm weight through wrist circles. Let me show you it first, then I'll talk through how to have you play that way. So notice my wrist was going out of that default hand position I talked about with that level wrist. If I play groups of notes, it has to be more flexible to incorporate all of the arm muscles. So think about as you go away from the body, you're going to scoop under with the thumbs, twos, threes, fours, five. Check your five, make sure it's aligned back over towards your body. That might feel very different, something you've never done before. You can also just practice without playing the notes, just that wrist practicing scooping under and over. Feel flexible, your wrist might be popping a little bit if you've never done this before. You can even practice one hand at a time. When I play like that, I feel the full strength of my forearms, my biceps and triceps. Able to give me more strength, I can play with dynamics. With a beautiful, rich tone. Once you get that comfortable, practice it in other keys, D major. into the black keys, B flat. If you'd like a more challenging um, excerpt, you can use an excerpt back from Hannon's Virtuosic Exercises, published around 1900. So I'll talk you through the notes. You can also find it on public domain online. So I'm going to stay on that middle C or treble C rather, an octave up for middle C. It's going to go C to E, up a skip, then up by steps F, G, A, G, F, E, and it starts the pattern over on D, up a skip, steps G, A, B, A, G, F. I'll go back 
back down to C and talk through the motions. Practice along if you can. I'm gonna scoop under as I go away from the body, as I go towards my body, over, under, and over, under, over. The left hand will play five to four on that skip C to E, over motion C, E, F, G, A, under by steps, when I get to D, skip five to four, D to F, steps, skip over, practice this hand separate until that becomes comfortable. Notice on the five finger scales, I was going thumbs to five, the motions were the same, under to over. go in the same direction, the hands will be moving in opposite directions. That will take some time to get that comfortable. Think about that left hand, watch the left hand, it goes over, right hand's going under, switch direction at the top. I'll show you what that looks like in hand and number one as well. Left hand over, right hand under. Be patient with that technique development. Remember that wrist is the bridge of support. Let it be flexible. Let your arm muscles come into your fingers to give them strength. Never want to play with tension. You never want to get tired. So if you feel tired when you're starting this exercise, just stop and take a break. Come back later or the next day and practice incorporating that in. It'll add beauty and a lifelong of playing. Thank you.